when you look at your partner's behavior and you deduce that you are not as high a priority as their work or their hobbies or their extended family, it can cause a lot of pain. Whether that's your partner's intention or not, remember that the receiver's feelings are always valid. That's either the intention wasn't communicated clearly or it's interpreted wrongly, as we discussed in our previous session. Whatever the reason may be, the issue will need to be resolved. Otherwise, it will cause or increase the negative atmosphere in your relationship. The bottom line is that if your partner feels that he or she is not one of the highest priorities in your life, then it will adversely affect the intimacy in your marriage, which may eventually create a big gap between the two of you. And therefore, if you really want to connect with your partner, decide that you will do everything you can to communicate to them that of everything on this earth, they are most important to you. In other words, if you don't want them to feel that your work or your hobbies or anything else is more important than they are, you need to honor them. To honor means that you really admire and respect them. It's the same attitude you would have if you were handed an object that was extremely precious. For example, if you had the opportunity to handle a piece of art that was hundreds of years old and extremely valuable, you would do so with the greatest care, with the greatest admiration and respect, because you knew it was irreplaceable. That is how you need to treat your partner, with honor and with respect, because they are extremely valuable and there is no one else like them. If you make sure that you regularly honor and admire your partner, it will have an incredibly positive impact on your relationship. To help you experience that admiration and honor for your partner, do the following exercise with them. What is really amazing about your partner? Don't tell them, just write it down. You can write down as many things as you want. And after you've written it down, do not share it with them, not yet. Next, we are going to do an exercise in which you are not to say anything out loud or to write anything down either. This is what we call a meditative exercise in which you purely think of or you imagine your answers to these questions. And I will leave some time between the questions. However, if you feel you need more time to properly get into them, you're welcome to pause it after each question. So close your eyes. Think back to the first time you saw your partner or how you met them. What can you remember? What stood out for you? How did you feel? Think back to your dating days. Why did you fall in love with your partner? What attracted you to them in the first place? Think of all the excitement and the fun you had. Think of all the special times and everything you did together. Now think of a specific, special time you shared. In your mind's eye, see what you saw, hear what you heard, feel what you felt. Re-experience it. Now make the colors a little bit brighter in your mind. Make the sound a little bit louder and make the feeling in your heart double so strong. Really feel it.
Now open your eyes and look into your partner's eyes for a few moments. He or she is still the same person. Share with your partner what you thought about and what attracted you to them in the first place. And once you've done this, take out the notes you wrote in the beginning of this exercise and tell them why they are so amazing to you.